Hi everyone, I'm John Rutherford, and if you're interested in seeing this homecoming eye look and what I'm gonna do with my lips, then just keep on watching. I zoomed in, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the eyes. It's not focusing, thank you. Okay, um, oh, and just a heads up, I forgot my foundation. Um, I don't know what I was thinking this morning, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be doing an eye tutorial and you can kind of like mix it with the face tutorial to get your full look. So yeah, um, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eye primer, whatever. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, it's like two bucks. Wait, no, wait, I think it's a dollar. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be taking this and um, uh, let me find a way to, yep, there we go. And I'm just gonna be applying this to both of my eyes. So I'm just going to apply primer to both eyes. And now I'm gonna take my Shop Miss A sponge and I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm going to be taking this powder brush that has some excess residual powder on it and I'm just going to be patting that over the primer. And this will really help for giving a seamless blend on the eyeshadow because if not it'll get real patchy in the crease and we don't want that. So I'm just going to do that. Oh yeah. And then today for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette um, for today's eye look. So yeah. Um, and throughout the look, I'll just insert pictures with little like dots of the shade that I'm using So you'll know which one I'm using. Oh, and I'm using this on one eye And then I'm gonna show you a very affordable look on the other eye. So yeah uh, Okay, so the first brush that I'm gonna be going in with is the Morphe E23 brush. Um, I love this brush This is my baby. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I'm just going to take that and apply that on the upper part of my crease. Now I have hooded eyes, so I don't really have a whole lot of a crease, if I'm being honest. But I still have enough surface area to really get this shade packed in there without it going all the way up to the brow. But hey, if you want to put your shadow up to the brow, girl do it. Once I have that in there, I'm going to be taking a more tapered brush. This is a Wet n Wild crease brush, I think. I don't know, I got it at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be taking this orange shade on this Wet n Wild brush, and I'm just going to put that right in the crease, which is like, like my actual crease, instead of it being on the, like, the whole crease area, I'm just really focusing that in on the center of the crease. These shadows are like a good amount of pigmentation, um, but obviously you do have to build them up a little bit because they ain't no tart. And I always, I do this with every every single time I put a shadow in there, I take my Morphe E23 brush with no new product on it and just blend that out. So I just, I can't stand having like a line of shadow, me personally. If you like that, girl do it. So next I'm going to take a, what's that, there we go. I'm gonna take a small pencil brush. I know what you're thinking, um, I'm not gonna be doing no crease work with this. Uh, I'm gonna take this chocolatey brown shade that you're seeing right now, tapping off the excess, cause this one's a little bit more, um, it has a little bit more kickback than that uh, orange one. And I'm just placing that on the outer corner. tap off all of the excess and just bring that in the crease area just right before I get to the inner corner. And doing this is really gonna sh sharpen up all of that crease work and just really make your eye look more defined. So then I'm gonna take my E23 brush again and I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, and then you should have something like that, just very easy and subtle. 
now I am going to take that same pencil brush, oh, there it is, um, and I'm going to be going in with this shade just ever so slightly, so, so lightly, tapping that off a ton. <laughs> and, well, you want to make sure that there's something on there. And then I'm just placing that right on the outer edge, like a little V on the outer edge. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and go back in with that crease brush, um, not the E23, the Wet n Wild brush with the excess um, orange product on it, and I'm just going to run that over the area where I put that darker shade. I just want to really make sure that there's a nice balance of colors over there. Also, I'm sorry if I keep going in and out of focus. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna take my E23 brush and just blend all of that out. This is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add my transition again. And I'm just gonna run that all throughout the eye. A little bit more orange in this look, so I'm gonna take that orange shade again, and I'm gonna really pack on the punch. Do one big tap off, and put that in. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We love a good matte, but who doesn't love a shimmer? I love a shimmer. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna take this spray, and I don't have a lot of this left, but I'm gonna do it. Um, and I'm going to spray both sides of the, no, wait. If you were doing both eyes, spray both sides of the brush. But I'm only doing one eye, so I'm only spraying one side of the brush. And I'm going to dip into this shimmer. It's my favorite shimmer in the palette. It's so pretty. I'm like close to hitting pan on it probably. It's so nice. Oh, I love it. Um, it does have a little bit of fallout though, so make sure that you're, you either have translucent powder under your eyes, like during that baking process, or you are doing your eyeshadow before, if you're gonna go for this look. Okay, now that we have that done, I am just going to add a touch of this red shade, um, not a lot at all, but I just want to add a little bit to the outer part of that shadow area just to really give it a nice gradient of colors. And okay, now that I have that on, I'm looking about good for the top. Um, and then if you're going to do your eyes first, I would um, wait on this step until you have your concealer and stuff on. But I'm going to go ahead and grab that orange shade because uh, obviously this is just an eye look. Um, I'm going to grab that orange shade and I'm going to take it right under the lash line. Okay, now that you have that orange under there, you probably can't see it super well because it's not contrasting with the foundation. Um, but now that I have that there, I'm gonna take a the same pencil brush. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm gonna take the same pencil brush and I'm gonna take that chocolatey brown shade one more time. And I'm just gonna put that right next to the lash line. Precious petals, so I went wild, my favorite. So I'm just going to take this. Um, I need to wet this brush, who am I kidding? It's already blinding, but like, we try to go there. So, I'm just give that one little spritz. Apply that to my inner corner. This eye is pretty much done. I'm going to do the other eye um, in a second, and then after I do that eye, I'm going to apply a mascara on both and my lashes and that, and then the eyes will be done, and then I can show you the lips. All right, now I'm gonna be doing the tutorial with the e.l.f. palette. This is the Matte for Matte. Um, and I'll be doing the same thing I did with the Morphe palette as far as the pictures and stuff. So I'm gonna be starting with the transition, but the transition over here is a little bit more peachy. And I'm using this broken brush um, from competition season for Rhapsody. <laughs> um, I love it, it's sad that it's broken, but like, it's really nice. It's by AOA Studio. So I'm just taking this brush and I'm just applying that transition on the same place that I did on the other side.
Okay, and then once you have a light wash there, I'm going to grab my e.l.f. crease brush, uh, blending eye brush, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna be taking another chocolatey brown shade. Um, and I'm going for more of a neutral-ish look on this eye, um, just because the, the, this palette doesn't have oranges and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna be taking that same pencil brush, I'm gonna wipe, or not wipe. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna tap off all of the excess of that, and I'm gonna go into this darker brown shade for now, and I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner like I did on the other side. And this. All right, and then I'm going to take the pencil brush, and I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just gonna barely drag this color towards the inner part of my eye but just barely. I'm going for like a brownie, smoky eye on this side. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then once I have that done, I'm gonna dip so lightly, so so lightly, barely, barely, into the black shade. I'm just gonna touch it. palette was all mattes and I love a good shimmer for homecoming. I'm going to take Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. Um, we know her, we love her. Um, I'm going to be taking that on my finger. It's just a very classic look that I think always looks good and it goes with any dress you could possibly have. Or um, tux. The set that I'm gonna do might be a little bit different to how you do it. Um, some people like to apply mascara and then put lashes on, but I didn't get my tweezers anyway. <laughs> I like to apply lashes and then blend them with mascara. Um, I'm gonna be taking that chocolatey shade and I'm just gonna put it right, 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 right on the lower part of the lash line. I'm not taking this shadow down as much because there isn't an orangey shade that's um, more of a transition. So I'm just gonna be taking this barely lower, just to give it a more cohesive look. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking the Cara Lashes in the number 213. You can get these on Travis HP Makeup. So I'm gonna be taking the Ardell Lash Adhesive. It doesn't matter, okay. I'm gonna be taking the Ardell Lash Adhesive and I'm gonna be applying those. Um, and I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna take a hot minute, so I'll be right back. For mascara, I'm actually gonna be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, um, just because I'm gonna be taking this off soon anyway. Um, but you totally can use uh, waterproof mascara. I love this one, it's so waterproof, and it's like, all right, for lengthening, Lash Paradise. And if you don't sweat on your face, oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. showing you what I'm doing for lips. So I was gonna try to make this like, this whole homecoming thing mostly drugstore, um, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be wearing this at homecoming anyway, so there's no point in me like finding me like, I'm using this, but I'm really not. Um, so I'm gonna be using the um, Tar Tardis Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. I think you can only get this um, with the birthday gift at Sephora. But it's really nice. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this $1 gloss that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be applying that to the center of my lips. I'm just going to take my middle finger and pat it out just a little bit. Alright, and that is what I'm doing for eyes and lips for homecoming. Thank you so much for watching.